boy. Yeah. What is going on, guys? Dippin' Diesel back. I've already started us a little bit to try to, you know, plan everything out. Today, we're going to be working on the TRX 350 Rancher. Uh, we are building a snorkel. So I have already started just because you guys probably don't want to see me trying to fit everything up and get everything all fit together. I'm just going to show you what it looks like now. And then, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a lot easier than you guys to see me a montage of this, you know, trying to fit everything up. So what I've done so far is inch and a half PVC pipe. Um, I have a 45, a 90, a 90, a 90, a 90 to a 45. This isn't the final like spot. This probably is going to be the final spot because I got a hole right here in the box. But I'm going to get better tie downs and shit to hold this PVC pipe to the to the uh, the rack. But anyway, yeah, that is probably going to be the final spot for that intake right there. I still have to rerun all the uh, the vent tubes all the way up this way to here. But I got some uh, tubing for that. But yeah, we got that. And then um, it took me like a long time to sand this down because I only had sandpaper. But this part actually fits. I've already glued these two pieces because they're going to be like that anyway. So I don't have to figure out any angles yet. The air box opened up. We got the stock. Uh, we got the stock piece taken out. And for this hole, the inch and a half PVC pipe was too big to fit in there, even though it's about inch and three fourths uh, diameter, the outside diameter. So I had to sand this down to meet that because that's inch and a half uh, on the inside. So I had to sand it down quite a bit and it fits all right. I'm probably gonna do some more sanding. I was just taking way too long to uh, sand that piece down, but it fits somewhat. I want it to go more into the box like right now, I can push it a little bit farther, but it's not all the way into the box. I want to get that as far into the box as possible, so it's a watertight seal. I might end up going to pick up some silicone so that doesn't leak. But for me showing you guys what it's going to look like, this is basically how the setup is going to go. So that piece, PVC pipe, is connected to a 45, and that is going to get connected to a... Did I mess up? I think I messed up. I think I glued that shit in the wrong spot. Yeah, I messed, I totally fucked up. So this piece was supposed to not go into there. That piece was supposed to go into this part, this 45, and it's supposed to go like that. And then that 90 is supposed to be attached to this. I might be able to just use this. Um, all right, we're gonna start over because I'm kind of all over the place because I messed up. But I can make it work with this um, cemented in like that. That will just come off of this 90 degree pipe. So you got two 90s right here. And I just have to cut another piece of PVC pipe God damn, let me go get a fucking, let me put this on a tripod or something because I am i can't hold in talking shit at the same time, all right. All right, we are back. And um, like I said, I messed up on this piece. That's not supposed to be connected, but I can actually use that to um, put a coupler on here. So that way it's easier to take off in two pieces and not have everything PVC piped together. So that coupler will probably go right there. I also have to get pipe to extend from here up to the top right there. But yeah, that goes in here, that goes in here. I'm gonna have to get another piece of pipe for that. But it's gonna look somewhat like this. I have to uh, shorten that pipe up a little bit so that can fit there. But uh, yeah, it's gonna look, uh, it's gonna look, I don't know how it's gonna look. As long as it's functional, right? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep working at this. I'll see you in a little bit. And I uh, get more things cemented together. And I'll just uh, keep you guys updated with the progress. <laughs> all right, guys, everything is all glued together. We got the snorkel 
all in place. I ended up putting this part right here. So if I do want to be able to take this apart, I need to be able to get this out of here and I can't do it if it's glued all together. So I ended up putting here so I can, so I can unbolt this or unscrew it and then I can slide this piece of the snorkel out. Um, this part of the, of the snorkel is pretty easy to take off. Um, so we got all that glued together. Shut up! Anyway, we got that. Really, dude, come on. All right, we got that all glued together. I am just extending the vent tubes right now. Wherever the vent tube is now, I extended it. I just bought this Rainbird quarter inch um, like drip line hose. It doesn't have any holes in it, but it's like the perfect size. So I bought uh, some adapters to uh, fit two together. So uh, we got that. Um, right now, I only see three vent lines. I'm not gonna drive this in the water yet until um, you guys comment and, and let me know if there's any more vent lines that I have to do. I can't find any more that are just, you know, open lines right here. That used to be just an open line, but then I put that connector and then the Rainbird um, tubing on there. And then um, there was one coming off right here. This one actually broke. So um, I heated it up and it was able to fit onto that fitting it was able to fit on that original fitting right there and then there was one that was coming off right here another connector and then i ran the lines through right here right where all the other wires go and then up through the piece on the uh, body where the uh, rack is coming from now I got, all i got to do is run the other wire through the cage i'm going to run it up the shaft of the snorkel and then uh zip tie it up right here so the vents are out of the way and they're not going to get uh, any mud or water or whatever inside of it. So, um, I think it's going to work for now. I'm, <laughs> I'm a little nervous cause I've never built a snorkel before and I don't want, you know, water getting into my engine. So, um, hopefully this works. I'm not going to do it until you guys comment. Like I said, I want to get all the vent lines out of the way so they're not underwater and, uh, stuff like that. So, um, I'm going to finish doing all this stuff is pretty basic i mean you're just running lines and uh zip tying it up so we'll come back at the end when i got the body all put back together and everything all put back together and uh we'll start it up i'm not gonna take any mud like i said but um yeah so let me know in the comments below if there's any other vent lines that i need to um extend here we go got all those vent lines on Got them all tied up. Probably can clean up this a little bit, make it a little nicer, but that'll work for now. For my first snorkel, I think it turned out pretty good. I still got some clearance right here for my leg when I'm shifting. It doesn't move around that much. I'm hoping that it doesn't freaking leak at that part right in the air box. But uh, let's go ahead and give it a start and See what happens. Got a bunch of shit falling. I'm going to turn the truck on. You can definitely feel it pulling air in. And look at that. Just turned off because it didn't have enough air. Fuel's on. That's yeah, working pretty good, I'd say. Just need to, uh, I don't know how to test this for leaks. I guess, I mean, we'll find out when uh, we take it through some water. So, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna post this video, I'm gonna ask you guys, like I said, about the vent tubes, and then once I see if three of these are good, then I'll go down to the creek, and we got one pass that's kinda shallow. Um, probably still, still be up to like right here, past my boot level. Um, and then going the other way on the creek, uh, it's a little deeper. So 
We may have to bring the Can-Am out there to uh, pull this out because these tires are not the best. The back ones are all right. It's a four-wheel drive quad, but the front ones, I don't see them doing any work uh, down there in the water. But, but yeah, we'll bring the Can-Am down there to pull it out if I need to. I think this little project was a success, if I do say so myself. Now that I fucking flooded it with no air. Doesn't want to start. Ha. Ah. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think of the new snorkel. Should I paint it or should I just leave it white? I don't know. Maybe if I should just paint it black or something, it'll kind of blend in a little bit more. It won't stick out like a sore thumb like it is now. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you um, do this for your quad. If you guys have a quad that you want to take in the water or mud or anything, you want that shit getting in your engine, so you're gonna need a snorkel kit to suck clean air and not any water into your engine. Um, yeah, we'll test it out in a couple days once I hear you guys' uh, responses in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Dippin' Diesel, out.